Sajid and we study in Gulf Model School in Class 8. We have joined here with you as a part of our new webinar, Geoelectricity Part 4 on the basis of ecosystem. We have come to talk on a question. What is human's role in ecosystem? Just think to yourself. You too will find it hard. Don't worry. By the end, we'll get an answer. We have taken the content from NCRT Social Studies textbook of Class 7, Chapter 1 of Civics, Environment, and Class 12, Chapter 14, Ecosystem. To know more on this huge topic, you can visit the site ncrtbooks.rashandalina.com. We live on Earth, our home planet. It provides us with life and protects us from dangers. It is the only planet in the solar system that supports life, and it's a huge planet. Yes, but when we say, we say it is a huge planet. But do anyone know what is its accurate area? Yes, yes it is 510.1 million kilometers square. Just imagine how huge it is. That's right. It's a huge planet and many people live in here. But do anyone know the exact population of the world? Yes, it is 7.8 billion. That's really big. So, Nasa, I wonder that how the entire plant and these many people who live in it get sufficient energy for life. Well, Srimai, the sun is the major source of energy and vital to life on Earth. Almost all of Earth's in energy input comes from the sun. Yeah, that's so interesting. Since we have this factor, then how will energy get transferred from one organism to the another? That's a good question. Within the ecosystem, energy can be passed and transferred from one organism to another. An ecosystem is an area where plants, animals, humans, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. Ecosystems can contain biotic or living parts as well as abiotic factors or non-living parts. Every factor in an ecosystem depends on every other factor, either directly or indirectly. A change in the ecosystem will affect all the species. Here you can see a diagram of ecosystem. We see a lot of species here, that is consumers, primary consumers, animals, plants, decomposers, and many more. But have you noticed that humans are not particularly included in the general diagram of ecosystem? Not only in ecosystem, but in most of the en energy transferring chains, we don't usually see humans. For example, in smaller grades, we study about food chains and food webs. But do we see humans? No. Have you wondered why is that so? It's not because human doesn't play any role, but there is a role. To know more on that, we have to explore on the role of human in ecosystem. So now let's arm ourselves with pen, paper, and logic to explore that world of ecosystem. Nisna, basically, what is the role of human in ecosystem? That's a great question, but it has a very sad answer. For thousands of years, people have interacted with ecosystems. Many cultures have developed around nearby ecosystems. As human populations have grown, however, people have overtaken many ecosystems. We have a huge role, better and worse. Unlike other apes, humans are destroyers of ecosystems. Human greed and ignorance have transformed planet Earth from the best known planet to a very dangerous habitat. We humans are consumers in every sense of the world. In this sense, we not only consume food, we also consume other components of the ecosystem in order to produce that food. Yes. So when we come to the positive or our contribution to the ecosystem, man is a species that mostly modifies and is responsible for the alteration of ecosystem. For example, if you live in a city, just look around. The buildings, roads, canals, each and everything are the result of human modification of ecosystem. And if you live on a farm, farms are carefully modified ecosystem managed to maximize production of plants that have been culturally modified for maximum food production. Humans modify the environment to improve survival and have since almost the beginning of the species. 
Humans depend on the surroundings, such as plants, animals, and other species for many things. Now, can you suggest some of the ways where we depend on other species? Yes, now let's discuss on that. The environment mainly consists of the earth and its surroundings, which include the atmosphere. The life of man here on earth completely depends on the natural environment for its existence. Humans have altered ecosystems more rapidly and extensively than ever, largely to meet rapidly growing demands for resources along with economic development. These demands have been considered important drivers of ecosystem degradation and biodiversity loss. People depend on plants for food, clean air, water, clothing, and shelter. Trees provide us with lumber for building homes. We produce cloth from the fibers of cotton, flax, bamboo, and other plants. People also use animal skin to make clothes and footwear. But this results in an extinction of a number of plants and animals. From the very beginning, people have been depending on ecosystem, that is plants and animals, for food. Yes. Not only humans, and did you know that several organisms play a major role in our ecosystem? There are several organisms that depend on each other which sustains life. Species are the most specific clarification, classification of organisms. Every predator and prey plays a major role in the ecosystem. It is important to protect the diversity of species in order to preserve sustainable ecosystem. So what do I basically mean by biodiversity? Good. Biodiversity in short of biological diversity refers to the variety of life that is a variety or the amount of life over an area. It is the large, it can be large as the earth itself or it can be really, really small as a small lake or a pond. It plays a very important role in each and every species as well as the ecosystem. Biodiversity boosts ecosystem productivity where each species, no matter how small, has an important role to play. For example, a large number of plant species gives a great variety of crops to other species. Greater species diversity ensures natural sustainability for all life forms on the earth. So this is where other organisms play, that is biodiversity. This is because species in an ecosystem depend upon each other for food, keeping birth and death rates in a balance. So it is sustainable for the ecosystem. If there are great number of species and a variety of them, the disappearance of any one of the species will bring huge or drastic changes. Thus, the extinction of species will affect all other organisms. Yes, that means each and every one is equally important. Here in this diagram, you can see the contribution of different species in the ecosystem. You may have noticed that humans play a very small part in ecosystem, while the very tiny detrivers and decomposers play a huge role. Thus, each and every species is important on Earth. No species is unimportant and extinction of any species, doesn't matter whether it is small or big, will cause a drastic changes on Earth and our lives too. Thus, biodiversity loss is a very big concern and danger to our world. Now let's watch a small video. This video will help you understand how different disasters affect in biodiversity loss. Yeah, we planned the documentary, so we'll be having it here and we'll 